Alright, let's get this going. Ooh, haven't seen you before. Keeper of secrets, huh? Alright. This is Jin. Uh Um what? Whoa. Uh-uh. Wait, 150? What? Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video on um a game that I have just recently become obsessed with. I've played numerous games from Pokemon to Nexamon, and I've wanted to get into the the monster taming genre, and I couldn't find a game that just had that same nostalgia as playing Pokemon Gold as a child and just the experience of these worlds. And I've searched online, looked for different <clears throat> monster tamers to uh to kind of get that 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 feeling, the nostalgia of this is a fun game. This is something I can sink 15 hours into already. And yes, I have already done 15 hours and recorded quite a bit of gameplay, but um this is just my review of this game called Monster Crown. It is an amazing game, and I'm going to highlight some of the features that make it so good. And in my opinion, I know I'm probably going to get some heat from some people, but in my opinion, I, I'm enjoying it a lot better than I have any Pokemon games. So let's go ahead and uh, go over some of the stuff that makes it, in my opinion, better than Pokemon. In Monster Crown, you don't catch monsters so they can become your friend. What you do is you form a pact with them, and if your agendas line up with theirs, then they'll join your team. You don't force them in a ball or a trap to become your friend. You use them to battle. They want to get stronger. That's another reason why this game, in my opinion, is better than Pokemon don't have to be friends. In Monster Crown, there are no gym leaders. There's no trainers that you have to fight to become the best. What you do have to do is become a better tamer yourself so that your monsters can evolve with you. You don't take on these chiefs. You do not get stronger. Therefore, your monsters will not want to get stronger. So that is another thing that I really enjoy is that you don't have to go through these numerous levels of badges or the Elite Four or become a champion. You just be better for yourself and for your monsters. Now I did just say evolve and I want to clarify there is no evolution stuff in this game like you would see in Pokemon where you hit a certain level and they evolve. To get different monsters or variants of monsters what you have to do is breed them and you can take any two monsters that you tame and breed them. It's not oh I have to breed a Pikachu with a Pikachu. No it's I could take this monster and this monster and they breed and create a variant of the first monster you selected. There is also a different way of breeding which will give you an embryo instead of an egg. The egg, just like in Pokemon, you gotta move around. The embryo immediately evolves after one battle.
there is also different power-ups you can get to evolve or change your monsters. One would be through the form of synergy, which you do by swapping out monsters in a battle. So swapping out isn't just about gaining XP now. Now you're building a meter that once that meter is full, you'll get a crowned transformation, which does a lot more damage. Guys and gals, I can't stress how much this game has in it. I, this is this video is just the tip of the iceberg. I wish I could make a full video on everything on it, but A, I don't want to spoil anything. B, I don't have that time, <laughs> unfortunately. But I, I just really want you guys to check this game out. It is available on Xbox, it's on PlayStation, it's on the Switch, it's on PC. Definitely need to check it out. And one final reason why I'm very excited about this game and the franchise they are building is that it's not just one game right now. Currently still getting more and more stuff added to it, but it's just not one game. They are doing a comic that is very beautifully, beautifully illustrated. And right here is the, the one day teaser comic and i'm just so excited to get my hands on these i think they're up to issue two at the time of this video um or they're working on issue two but the link is down in the description definitely check out the artist and uh if you want to get your hands on the comic please do but another huge thing that i'm super excited about is the tcg that they have coming out I am chatting with the developer and I am very, very impressed with what they have in store for us. And once, once it comes out, you can expect I'm going to do a full video on how to play it and what is in store. But let's go ahead and get into the review aspect of it. Um, I would like to uh, try this out. This is the first time I'm doing a review with an actual rating. So here is how I'm going to rate the game. All right, so for my rating system, I'm going to give a controller for one of five categories. Audio, visual, gameplay, replay value, and storytelling. For Monster Crown, I have to say they nailed the sound of the 8-bit or Game Boy era that they were going for. I really enjoy it. And if you ever get to this game's version of Lavender Town, oh boy, you are in for a treat. So I'm going to give it a controller for audio. Visuals, this game is beautiful. Again, just like the audio, they nailed the graphics. That I, I felt like I was playing Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, that, that Game Boy Color style. It was, it was, it was beautiful. Gameplay. The way this game plays is almost flawlessly, in my opinion. Yeah, there is minor glitches here and there, but the developers are working on patches for the game for all the platforms. So I'm not worried about that. It's not a, oh, we pumped the game out and we're done with it. No, the developers are very active in the community and working on some of the glitches that people are experiencing it has not hindered my gameplay of it i really enjoy it and i still play it even if i do come across a glitch so i am going to give it a controller for that replay value i have to say this game is loaded with monsters to breed and hunt and i come across a couple monsters like in the very beginning of this video they are level 150 and I'm going at it with a level 40 something. I'm going to come back once I get to that point where I can master it. I, I, I want to complete the notebook just like everyone wants to cl complete that Pokedex. Storytelling. I did not touch on the story primarily because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I have to say I'm really enjoying it. I'm very very involved in the story it's not a typical 
oh, I'm a 14-year-old boy who wants to become the world's greatest trainer. No, it's, it's deeper and darker at some points than most Pokemon games. So I'm really enjoying it. So gets a uh, gets a controller. Now we do have an option for bonus controllers, but I have not experienced that, so I'm not going to uh, award this game for a sixth controller. But you can create codes to swap monsters with other people, which is pretty cool. But, so, here's the verdict. There you go, guys. I gave it a 5 out of 5 on my rating. I would like to hear what your opinions are. And if you're going to be picking this game up, remember, I said it was on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and on PC. So please pick it up. Let me know what you think. If you are going to pick it up, awesome. I would love to hear your valid opinion on it. If you have no interest in this, that's fine too. But as I said before, all the links for the comics and how to follow the devs are in the description below. You could do me one last favor before you leave can hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't checked out any of my other content, here's a video right here. I would love for you to watch that too. Until the next video, guys, have an awesome day.